Yo, what's going on, sexy seven letters today? We're doing a ranked one v one DB Smurf. Oh man, we got DB Ludson or L London. We got DB Hudson, and now we got DB Smurf. They're just ruining everything, man. They're just queuing up, making me making me hold L's, dude. Not literally, but like metaphorically, because they don't play the game, and it makes me sad. But anyways, doesn't matter. What I wanted to do is uh, is I wanted to showcase this new build that's going around where it's better than Soul Leader, apparently. Like, a lot of solo laners are building it. Jotun's Vigor. Uh, when you get 60% health... I know you guys can't read it. That's why I'm reading it to you. Uh, gain 15% movement speed and 20% physical ability life steal. Soul Eater, for reference, at maximum stacks, gives you a 10% ability lifesteal. So, um, it's actually a stronger Soul Eater, but it's not a forever Soul Eater. You have to get, you know, a certain amount of HP low in order to trigger it. But once you trigger it, um, it's actually twice as strong, the healing. And you gain movement speed for it, which is not bad at all, I think. So this is what a lot of solo laners are doing in the SPL, or even just like in general, I assume. Not just SPL, but just in general, the solo laners are doing this because it's a stronger power spike. I don't think I'm able to get this, but I am going to go for it. Oh, nice. Let's group him up. And then we can clear a wave like that. That will hurt me, but I'm gonna just I'm just gonna be patient. I don't think he can kick me into a wall here, right? Uh, okay. Clearly I was wrong. <laughs> it's alright though. He can't kill me. He's not level five. I'm vibing. I'm chilling. We can go grab our Jotuns. Actually, all greed for the full Jotun's vigor here. Ow, bitch. How dare you? Do not look All right. I gotta wait 100 gold, but that's not the worst thing in the world. All the XP on the map is done. I mean, he's gonna get XP camps, and I'm not gonna contest him for those anyways, so... <coughs> it's fine. Bigger is not all all right so now i get this 20 percent cooldown 20 percent physical ability lifesteal and some extra move speed and now what people are doing is going into uh well i mean if you're a solo laner right you're gonna go into probably some defense now because you finish your soul eater lifesteal um but if you are a sorry hold on if you're not a solo laner and you're getting this item just to use the lifesteal portion of it. I think you might be dead, by the way. Yep, you are dead. Uh, you go Hydras because you're going to be doing an insane amount of damage. So Hydras just ups that a little bit as well as giving you percentage pen and a little more cooldown. Gives you basically maximum cooldown immediately, which is insanely strong. That's not good. Dude, the movement speed you get from the Jotuns is actually really good. Oh, I did not mean to auto attack. Hydras. I definitely could have killed him there, I think. But I'm also totally fine letting him live. I don't mind. Do, 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 do. All right. I want the blue buff. That's going to max my cooldown out. Go through the wall, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm not able to get this, I don't think. Oh, actually close, though. Actually close. 
That would have been really insane. That's clear. Uh, that's not that far away. Only, what, 300 gold away? This is all the next wave. And look at that lifesteal, though. And the move speed, like, he just can't catch me. It's actually kind of insane. I never realized how strong this was. If you're wondering why I uh, used my one, it's because you're not going to be immune in your one. So he can't... If you're not going to be immune in your one, uh, Gilgamesh's ult knocks you up and backwards into the... Uh, in, like, to keep you into the ult. If I didn't have my knockoff immunity there, I'd probably just die. So, good thing for me. I don't know why he's checking my blue. Definitely nothing there. I got one. Hello? I'm Hydrus. I wait for Jotuns to proc. It doesn't proc. Stop his back. Because we can kill him here. Nice, dude. Nice. Look at that damage. Holy crap. Holy crap. All right. But I could just double all bull demon. He's not even coming over here. I can't double alt it because I don't have my second alt. I'm gonna just horn shard to kill it though. Because it, it does a shit ton of damage. More damage than I was expecting, honestly. But my damage output is wild, dude. He already has tier or he already has a finished defensive item. I'm just cutting right through it. The next up, you can either go serrated, which is what a lot of people are doing here because percent pen, you have 10% pen, you can go to 30% pen with one item and it's 41 power. Or, and I, I know I'm losing tower. It doesn't really matter. I'm not going to lose the game. Um, or you can go into a more pure power like Erendite, especially on Kleena. Erendite is very, very good. You have the movement speed from Jotun's and the movement speed from Erendite. You also do get movement speed from serrated. But your goal basically is get power and movement speed. Like these are your ideal items. You, you don't really want Golden Blade or Hastened. But like Blood Forge isn't terrible if you're playing Conquest. Obviously, I'm not playing Conquest, so I'm probably going to go Serrated. But uh, like your goal is to be fast and healy. So Can I go in this wall. Nope. Thank you. Oh, not thank you. you just die to me here? Because it kind of feels like you might just die to me here. Oh, man. Gonna wait for Jotuns to trigger. Oh, God. Cancel that. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he did my blue. That bitch. That bitch. Oh, that was a lot of healing. Holy crap. That three just healed me for like 300 HP. I got a sneeze. I held it in. Okay. Uh, why is there a minion stuck back there? What is that minion doing, bro? Ow, bitch. Oh, 
Oh, you're dead? Nice. And this will push minions back, letting me clear. Alright. Nice. This should give me the Phoenix. Uh, I can't really do anything other than get the Phoenix off this, but I don't really need to. Did it blink? Phoenix. Might. Just gonna run all the way back. One more defense. Going into the Hydra's build. Alright, hiking back here. I'm pretty safe. I serrated for me. And now I could go Arendite, like I said. I mean I'm I'm 30% cooldown. I don't really need Arendite. Um because I have blue buff. Actually, fuck it. Let's get red buff instead. Let's go Arendite and get red buff. So I'm gonna have maximum cooldown. Almost maximum pen. A lot of damage and survivability. Dude. These new builds are crazy. Like, I never expected... A glyph would take over a full item slot. You know, like... Going Soul Eater here... Like, on Kalina, Soul Eater was... Like there's a certain a few gods where like you think of them and you think yeah soul eater obviously fucking dumb if you don't go soul eater right Kalina for me is one of them Sun Wukong is one of them okay man I do a lot of damage that was through double defense, by the way. My damage is crazy strong right now. Holy shit. Is your blue actually up? Oh, it is. I want to heal off of it. I can heal off the wave here. Never mind. I cleared too fast. Not bad healing. The double defense doesn't even make a difference, man. Doesn't even make a difference. I'm roasting and toasting this guy. He just altered the wave because he had to. All right. Just going to wait it out. This is kind of insane, right? All right. Now, if I just go back to power. Now, Demon Blade is an item that doesn't really make sense in this build in particular, but it's a very good item in general, and it might be worth picking up if you need to. Um, I don't really feel the need to. So what I might do is I might just go Beat Stick here. Because it's just pure power, like 45 physical power is a lot. Bigger is not all and I'm, you know, I'm at Titan's front door, right? So we literally just sit there. I blink in, whatever. I don't even have to blink in, but I, I just get in to Titan's room. I double alt Titan. It's game over. Yeah, I mean, 245 physical power. It's straight Jover. Right, so check it out you want to hit me 
I don't care. I double all. And it's just game over. It's just game over. My two alts did 3,000 damage. Even to him, it did 1,100. Like, my power is so high. My three that I, I hit the Titan with, I didn't even care to hit him with, did 400 damage plus Erendite proc. You know, like... <laughs> oh, God. Excuse me. Uh, which is just crazy, dude. It's just crazy to think about, like, how much damage that output is. And... Not only how much damage that is, because like as a solo leader, you don't really care that much about your damage, right? You're mainly like, you're in there to disrupt, right? <clears throat> Does Gilbert ever win that matchup? Nah. Knock up immune on one and three to clear. I don't think Gilga can win that matchup, to be honest. Uh, But, like, but just... This isn't DB London. Oh. Pog. But, um... Like, this, just Soul Eater to clear and, and heal you up and someone like that, it's, it's pretty sick. It's pretty cool. I like it. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of this new build. Kind of a showcase, I guess. Um, let me know what you think of it. Let me know the differences. Obviously, you can exchange something for defense. You should probably exchange something for defense if uh, if you need it, right? But, I, you know, I didn't really... Uh, I wasn't very scared, so I just went full power. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.